Hey there, PIs or Pokemon investigators. You're with Pewter City Gym, and we're going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Detective Pikachu Returns. Um, right now, we are headed into some ruins. Wasn't expecting to wind up here, I'll tell you that much. So let's see what we can find in this place. So this is what the ruins are like inside. Why is it so cold? Yeah, it's freezing in here too. What's going on? I know it's snowing outside, but this still feels really unnatural. Snow outside, ice inside, I bet there's a connection. Wow, you truly are the world's greatest detective. Do you think the professor's alright after two whole days in here? I hope so, we should probably hurry. I'm not sure what we'll find in here, so I'll go scout ahead. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's go find Gordon. Yep, let's go find Commissioner Gordon. Oh. Okay. What are those glowing blue orbs? Looks like there are three different ways to go. Which way do you think the professor went? Well... Let's try down this way first. Oh, there's the slowpoke! Wait, what? Ooh, concentrated deliciousness and the tip of the tail. I still find that really gross. Huh? Is this the professor's partner, Slowpoke? Slow, Slowpoke. Easy there, Slowpoke. We're not your partner. Slow, Slow. He thought Mr. Goat was back and now he's disappointed. He calls Professor Gordon Mr. Go, huh? That's cute. Hey, Tim. Looks like his feet are frozen solid. I think he's stuck. Yeah, we can't leave him like this. But what can we do to help? Hmm. What if we ask Rachel for help and then we try pulling him out together? Sounds like a plan. Alright, Rachel. Come on. Get on in here. This is Professor Gordon, Slowpoke, right? Yeah, I think so. But why is he frozen? We gotta help him, quick! It won't be easy with ice this solid. It's the same he doesn't know the, uh, the water type moves scowled. I feel like this is gonna hurt him more than help. I mean, he might not feel it for like a year, but... We did it! Oof. Smooshed. A little help here? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, Rachel. I mean, it's a little bit Come funny, on. Tim. Quit playing around. Wait, huh? Uh-oh. Ah! Is it the slowpoke's tail? Ah! Hey, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> He grew a new one already? I see. Your tail really grows back fast. Oh gosh, and the other end of that one is kind of just a, a nub? Oh. Uh, I don't know why I find this as objectionable as I do. Looks like we managed to get him free, thank goodness. He says thank you for rescuing him. I'm really glad we did help, though you're heavier than you look. Did Slowpoke give you his tail just now, Pikachu? Yeah, don't you know Slowpoke tails are good eats? You can't help but smile when you sink your teeth into one. Huh, you don't say. How'd you end up frozen anyway? Slow. It happened so suddenly that you're not sure? What about your partner, Gordon? Where's he? Slow. You were asleep until just now, so you don't know. I wish I was that carefree. Yeah, me too, buddy. Ah, well, that's too bad. So then, what do you remember, Slowpoke? Can you tell us anything at all? Slow, slow. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm just going to ask why you're frozen. Can you tell us what happened when you got frozen? Slow. Apparently, it happened so suddenly he was already frozen by the time he noticed anything was wrong. What was the professor up to when you got frozen? Slow. He says that Gordon's gone off somewhere. And when Slowpoke tried to follow, that's when he got frozen. Slow, slow. He says he sat here wondering what to do until he fell asleep. 
Hard to believe he managed to sleep for two days in a place this cold. Where did Professor Gordon go? Was Gordon with you when you entered this room? Slow. Okay, so they were together at that point. When did you and the professor get separated? Slow, slow boo. Right after they reached this room. Gordon told Slowpoke to use his water to wash the dust off a mural. After Slowpoke did that, Gordon suddenly noticed something and rushed out of the room. Slow, 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 slow. A little bit later, he heard Gordon call out in surprise from the next room. And there was a rumbling rocky sound. Slowpoke tried to hurry and catch up, but that's when he got frozen. Slow. And right after you got frozen, you heard that rumble again. Slow. So you heard that rumbling sound twice, eh, Slowpoke? Let's see, what did Professor Gordon notice? Do you have any idea what Gordon might have noticed? Slow. No dice, huh? The murals in this room are really big. Yeah, I bet there's a clue hidden somewhere in these murals. I think that's it. Well, I guess we'll ask about Slowpoke. Just to confirm, you're Gordon's partner, right? Slow, slow boo. Just as we thought. So you came here to help with Gordon's research. And he always brings you along on all of his research trips, eh? Slow, slow. What sort of things do you do to help the professor? Slow. You're good at spraying water, huh? Mm, how helpful is that to Gordon? Oh, we got a noted testimony. I'm glad we checked it. Slow, slow. I see. Gordon brings you along instead of bringing a canteen. Oh, he drinks the slowpoke water. That's, uh, that's a choice. <laughs> yeah, I 100% agree. Definitely a thing that you could choose to do, I guess. All right. Thanks for all the info, slowpoke. You've been a huge help. Slow. That conversation just sounded like a bunch of pika pikas and slow slows to me. Still, they talked for a pretty long time. What were they talking about? Could you understand them, Tim? Well, oh, no, of course I can't understand them. All right, then. I'm going to stay here for a while and look after Slowpoke. I want to at least make sure he's okay. He was stuck in that ice for two days after all. Got it. Thanks, Rachel. In that case, let's get back to our investigation. According to Slowpoke, Gordon noticed something when he looked at these murals. Then these murals must hold the key to finding the professor's whereabouts. We better take a close look at him. So, I see Passimian holding multiple different types of berries. Let's see, I'm not missing anything over this. Whoa, a mini ore? Oh my gosh, it. That voice is not what I would have expected. Mini or mini or. Huh? Is this Pokemon trying to tell us something? Yeah, mini or says it wants to go back home. Where's its home? Mini or live up in the ozone layer. They fall down to the ground when their shells get too heavy. Wow, that high up, huh? If we helped it get rid of its shell, do you think it could make it back up there? I wonder if we can find a Pokemon powerful enough to break that shell. Okay. So, Pissimian with two different types of berries. That one definitely looks like an Oranberry. I don't think it's the other blueberry we found. And I see something frozen in the ice. So, these are the murals the professor was looking at. They both depict Pissimian. Yeah, but how do we know which of these two murals he was actually looking at? Maybe he looked at both of them. Either way, we'll have to give them each a thorough inspection. Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. We should check them out as well. Make sure not to miss any details. Hmm. Okay, where should we look first? Well, I want to know what this berry is. I think it's an Oran berry. Look at that Pissimian's pose. It's holding a berry. You're right. It's got a blue berry. Hmm. Oh, this Pissimian has a pretty strained expression. Ha, <laughs> yeah, like it just ate something sour. Okay. Yep, no other way to interpret that face. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Okay, so we'll go look at the other mural. Or maybe... What is that frozen in there? This wall is way more frozen than the others. If you look closely, it seems like there's another mural on the middle wall, too. Okay, so it's another Pissimian, and it is... It looks like it's in a different pose, though. But with all this ice in the way, we can't see what the mural's depicting. If we want to see this mural, we're gonna have to do something about all this ice first. I wonder what was drawn here. Okay... Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. Yeah, we should check them out. I'm aware, guys. Okay, where should we look first? At this berry. I guess it's a sweet berry. Look at this Pissimian's pose. It's holding a berry. Yeah, right. It's got a yellow berry. The other wall had a blueberry, but this one's yellow. And the face. Look at this Pissimian's face. It seems happy. Looks like my face when I've just eaten something sweet. Alright. So that's gotta be what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yep. So, there was a yellow berry outside and a blueberry. And we know that there's a Pissimian outside that we could talk to. Okay. Well... Is Slowpoke okay? I think he's hungry, but otherwise he seems fine. I gave him some of my lunch and he perked right up. I'll take care of Slowpoke. You just focus on finding the professor. Okay, so... I think that's everything that we can look at in this room. Those statues definitely look like something that's going to be main story relevant. We'll check over this way first. Oh, Crustle. Hmm, this rock seems a little different than the others. Yeah, it's definitely got a pretty strange shape. What do you suppose it's doing here? It's a crustle, you guys. Wow. It's a wall of ice. Looks like we can't go any further this way. Yeah, there's no way we can get through a wall this thick. I can just barely see through to the other side, though. Really? Let me take a look. Hmm, yeah, there's definitely something there. I see something moving. Hmm. Curious to know what it is, but we should look into it later. We gotta get that Munferno to Let's blow some fire on this ice. Okay, so down the main center area it is. There's all these guys with pillars. Hmm, there's something on the floor. It's a brand new handkerchief. Huh? Trevor Gordon. Professor Gordon's name is embroidered on it. So it's Gordon's handkerchief, eh? Alright, let's see. The fact that we found the professor's handkerchief here means he must have come to this room. Yeah, but I don't see Gordon anyway. Where do you think he went? We might be able to find some clues about that. Let's investigate this area carefully. I'm not going to begin deducing just yet. What are these guys? These are... Oh, these are Pissimians. So you got to put a berry on each Pissimian. Okay. Let's see. Anything up here? You got to look at this. This wall looks different from the others. Yeah, there's a relief of an Aegis Slash carved into it. What in the world could it mean? Huh? Hey, Tim, look at the floor. What? What about it? Footprints. They look like human footprints. From the size, I'd guess they were made by an adult male. Huh, <laughs> you're right. But there's something weird about these footprints. I'll say. The tip of the last footprint is cut off by the wall. Okay. So that door must have closed after him. It's almost like the wall was made after the footprints were left here. That doesn't seem possible, though, does it? What could have happened here? All right. 
Let's go look at these statues, I guess. This looks like a statue of Pissimian. What a weird pose. It's almost like it's offering something. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. I wonder if there's some special meaning to it. Also, this statue has a slight scent to it. Really? I don't smell anything. That's because Pokemon are more sensitive to smell. It's faint, but I can smell something sweet. So we gotta put a yellow berry here. It's a Pissimian statue. Sniffing this statue made my eyes hurt. <laughs> spicy. Uh, you know, like when you get a big whiff of something spicy? Alright, and then this one's going to be the sour one, of course. Uh, there's a sour smell coming from this statue. And then we got the footprints on the floor. There are footprints all over the floor. It looks like someone was walking all around. Some seem to be heading towards their wall, and other looks like they're leaving the room. Gordon must have gone in and out of this room several times. There's so many footprints all over the place, I can't tell which way the professor went. Okay, let's start deducing. Oh! Let's start swadlooning. Whoa. There's a swadloon! It looks so cold. Loon. It's practically frozen. It must be too cold to walk back home. Quick, let's give it the clothes that Leveni gave us. There we go. Swaloon. All right, it looks so much better now. Your mother's worried about you, so you should hurry home. Swad, Swaloon. All right. <laughs> All right, we found both Swadloon. Want to head back to make sure they made it home safe and sound? Sure. Okay, let's go! Lily, lily, lily. It looks like both Swadloon got back safely. Loon Swadloo. It's thanking us for delivering the leaf clothes. You're very welcome. Swadloon Swadloon. Glad to see you both look okay. Now, don't go worrying Leveni too much, alright? Done. We are literally superheroes right now. Okay, let's start deducing. I know exactly what it is. Where could Gordon have gone? Let's think about this together. He went to the restroom. <laughs> Maybe the professor left to use the restroom. He could have gotten out his handkerchief to wash his hands afterward, but dropped on the way. I don't think so. He went along a path behind the wall. Uh, yep. That was it. He left the ruins. The trail of footprints can also be seen heading towards the entrance. The professor may have finished his research and left the ruins. Well, we know that he ended up going through the thing. Maybe this path extends past the Relief of Ages Slash. And the Relief could have blocked off the path after the professor had already gone through. Does that seem possible to you? Hmm, the entrance to the ruins was closed shut, even though we know Gordon opened it. It's possible that the relief is also an entrance, and it also closed shut after Gordon walked through. If that's the case, maybe there's another mechanism that'll move this relief. Yeah, we just gotta figure out what it is. I already know what it is, you guys. Alright. Hmm. Now we need to investigate and figure out what kind of mechanism controls the Aegislash wall. How do we do that? Hmm, there was a unique design on the switches that opened the entrance. So that same design might be inside the ruins too. Not necessarily. We have no reason to think that the same type of mechanism is being used here. But that doesn't mean there aren't any visual clues here. Visual clues, huh? For now, let's just look around the ruins for anything that seems unusual. We can think about the mechanism afterward. I already know what it is. Let's just begin deducing. Did you figure out how we can get past the Age of Slash Relief? I did. Have the statues hold berries. Maybe we can activate the mechanism by having the statues hold the same berries that the Pissimony and the Muse... There we are. It's perfect. What if we have the statues hold the same berries as the Pissimian and the Murals? You know how both the statues and murals depict Pissimian. 
That makes me think they're both connected to the mechanism. That Pisimian and the murals are holding berries, but the Pisimian statues aren't. So I think we need to make the statues match the murals. Ah, I get what you're saying. We could probably pull that off by placing berries on the statues. The statues look like they're perfectly posed for holding berries, too. There's just one problem, though. Yeah, each mural depicts a different berry. Exactly, which probably means we need to give each of the statues a different berry. But what berry are we supposed to give which statue? I know. The sweet yellow berry needs to be placed on the statue to the left. I think it's... Oh, I think it's only natural to assume that the less most mural and the statue correspond to one another. And that mural depicts a yellow berry and a happy Pisimian. I bet that Pisimian's expression is a clue about the flavor. Could it be smiling because it ate something sweet? Exactly what I was thinking. Which means we need to place a sweet yellow berry on the statue. Okay, let's go find the berry that ticks those boxes. What berry should we place on the statue to the right? I bet the answer's on the rightmost mural. The mural on the right depicts a blueberry and a pisimian with a puckered up face. I'm sure that's the face someone makes when they've just eaten something sour. Which means the answer's gotta be a sour blueberry. Let's go find a berry that ticks those boxes, Tim. What berry should we place on the middle statue? We couldn't examine the middle mural because it was frozen over. We gotta figure out what to do about that ice first. I don't think there's anything we can do to get rid of it ice that thick. True. In that case, I think we should get some help from a Pokemon. Yeah, there were lots of Pokemon outside the ruins. Let's go ask the Pokemon if any of them can help. Begin deducing. Hmm. Did you find any Pokemon that could help us get rid of the ice? Melt the ice with water. Slowpoke can spray water. The ice might melt if he douses it with room temperature water. Oh. Didn't Slowpoke tell us that he sprayed water on a mural? What if we have him spray the mural? Maybe that'll melt the ice. With how cold it is in there, the water's more likely to freeze than melt. If only could Slowpoke could spray hot water. Just teach him scald. There might be a Pokemon that can help. Let's search outside the ruins a little more. Alright. Did you find any Pokemon? No, I did not. Oh. If we want to get further into the ruins, we have to gather the berries depicted in the murals. Right, we need a sour berry that's blue and a sweet berry that's yellow. The colors we can see, so that part's easy, but what about the flavors? Hmm, even I don't know what every berry tastes like. Guess we'll just have to try them all. What? You're gonna eat them? That's the fastest way to get the info we need, right? I guess. Just don't make yourself sick, okay? Don't worry. We Pokemon love berries. Alright, Tim. Now that we got a plan, let's go get those berries. Alright, and we will in the next episode. Hey, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to catching you in the next one, but till then, take care. Bye.